All right. Hi guys, we have a cool experiment today to see what happens with oatmeal that's hard. Go ahead and poke it. First of all, this is my son. Hello. Poke it just a little bit. This is hard oatmeal. It was cooked earlier today. Go ahead and uh, we won't poke it anymore. We co I cooked this earlier today and what I want to show you today is what happens when we use a digestive enzyme. This is called a terazyme digestive enzyme. It's a complex that has some amazing enzymes that help break down your food. Now it's really important that your food is broken down as much as possible by chewing because digestion really starts in the mouth when you chew and there's enzymes in your saliva that help start the process and then more enzymes in your gut. But some people need a little extra support and a little extra help, especially with things that can be harder to digest with lots of fiber, um, such as oatmeal. And clearly this is kind of gross, old, hard oatmeal. So what I'm gonna do is my son and I are going to, um, I'm gonna add two digestive enzymes to mine. And we are both going to stir our oatmeal. After I add this, we're gonna stir it and then we're gonna let it sit for about a minute and then we'll come back and stir again and just see what happens. So the dose of these digestive enzymes is um, anywhere from, I usually take anywhere from one to three capsules with my meals, but you know, usually about two is what you wanna take. So mine now has the digestive enzyme. Let's go ahead and stir it around. We're just using forks to kind of get down in there. Oh, he's really going for it. This is so hard to stir. <laughs> okay. So the enzymes are kind of, they're, they're getting down in there. This is what's happening in your stomach. When you eat your food, your food's churning around and the digestive enzymes are helping. All right. So actually, I don't know. I'm already, mine, mine actually feels like it's kind of loosening up. I don't know. Does yours feel like it's loosening no, up? No. Yours is pretty clumpy, isn't it? Mine feels kind of loose, but let's go ahead and just let a minute pass now and we'll come back. So one thing we noticed, it's been about a minute and a half, and one thing we noticed is that uh, when he was stirring before, his fork was really clumpy, and my fork wasn't. So to me, that indicates that mine was definitely looser. So go ahead and stir yours again, and let's just see. Mine is quite easy to stir. It's kind of more, a little more wet, and his is a little more dry and, I don't know, rubbery. <laughs> Do you want to stir mine and see and see what the difference is? Yeah. Let's trade. So, does that feel much different? Easier. Much easier. And his is. <laughs> oh, that's pretty gross. Can you do that with do that with the fork? So his has the digestive enzymes in it now. So tip it over. <laughs> okay, mine won't come off the fork. So I think this pretty clearly demonstrates that the enzymes. So again, now that's back to this one. The enzymes really make a significant difference. I think this is pretty darn cool. Don't you think that's amazing? So these enzymes have protease, papain, amylase, lactase, lipase. Uh, you know what? I'm not even going to read them all, but it has a blend of, of enzymes that break down um, the food. So again, you can better digest and assimilate the nutrients that you are eating. And this is really important, especially for those of you who might have a history of digestive issues. You might need a little extra help. Okay, last, last little test here. Mine versus yours. Okay, and tip. Yep. Yep. Okay, this is about probably 20 minutes later after we filmed the video and it's actually getting soupy in here. <laughs> Gross. Soupy. And then this is still the original non-digestive enzyme oatmeal. Big difference.